It's been 72 months since the end of the recession, and the Fed has still not hiked rates. This is unprecedented. In the 1990s, it took the Fed 35 months to raise rates, and in 2004, it only took them 32 months. So what is going on? To answer this question, we decided to jump into the mind of Fed Chair Janet Yellen to see what she is thinking. Janet Yellen is primarily concerned about two variables, unemployment and inflation. First, let's see what's going on with unemployment. The official rate is at 5.3%, just a little above what would be considered full employment. But some people tell us there is still a lot of slack in the labor market. What do they mean by slack? When we look at the six broad measures of unemployment, we find that four out of six are lower than they were the last time the Fed hiked. Yes, U6 is still too high, but it has been falling rapidly. Second, let's look at inflation. Janet Yellen and investors know that wage growth drives inflation. And many bond investors tell us that wage growth is anemic, which is why the Fed can't hike. If Janet Yellen is looking at average hourly earnings, then yes, they are low at 1.9%. But don't forget that in 2004, when the Fed hiked, average hourly earnings were at the same level. Other measures of wage growth are closer to 3%, including our favorite measure, median hourly earnings. More broadly though, when looking at inflation, Janet Yellen is concerned with the price gauges. While the Fed's preferred gauge of core PCE has been below the 2% target, other measures show low but stable inflation closer to target. Not to mention, the Fed has stated that they're reasonably confident that they will reach 2% in the medium term. So, slack is diminishing, wages are rising, and inflation is low but stable. That means a rate hike in 2015 is likely, with every meeting on the table for a data-dependent Federal Reserve. This is Sid Saravath from the Paid and Economics team.